Yes, good morning to you. We've got gorgeous views of Tower Bridge, but we are inside the Tower of London. Some 150 people currently asleep this morning, and the tower here is nearly a thousand years old. A beautiful start to the day. It's actually relatively mild here at the moment, but colder, wetter weather is on its way. Now, at the moment, the latest satellite and radar shows a divided country of weather. The north, clear, cold, but sunny, centrally cloudy and wet, and in the south, like the last few days, grey, misty, murky but mild and as we head through the day we stick for Scotland and Northern Ireland with sunshine after that chilly start it's a story of sunshine and showers and some blustery winds to boot the rain through Northern England and Wales will start to peter out through the day but still staying fairly cool and grey and in the south after that misty start the southeast should brighten up and highs around about 21 degrees for the weather where you are in detail go to itv.com forward slash weather <laughs> Good morning, Breton. The train feels the strain. Serious crime on our railways rockets. Aid for Indonesia. The first British supplies arrived to help the victims of the earthquake and tsunami. Sportswear manufacturer Nike says it's deeply concerned about rape allegations against Cristiano Ronaldo. And we want to get you talking this morning. Should Donald Trump be given the Nobel Peace Prize? Can two sisters have a civil partnership meant for couples? And if too much sugar can kill, should we ban Bake Off? And we're going to entertain you this morning. Poirot star David Suchet is here. And we're off to Celebrity Island with Pete Wicks and James Cracknell. Friday, 5th of October, 2018. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Kate Garraway. So, our main news this morning. New figures have revealed that there was a sharp rise in the number of violent and sexual offences committed on Britain's railways in the last year. British Transport Police say crimes involving knives or other weapons went up by almost 50%. Juliet Dunlop is at Manchester's Piccadilly Station for us this morning. Morning, Juliet. So, overall, crime on the trains has increased by around a fifth. Are the police saying why? Why? 